one thing that I wanted to mention real quick is I did buy this product with my own hard-earned money so I don't have any bias there at all and I'm really happy with it be sure to check the prices out all over the web though because it's this particular model is fifty dollars less right now on Amazon than it is through the RV lock website hey YouTube it's Barrett from the Gimpy Camper we're gonna do what's supposed to be an easy install today but you guys know how my projects go right but I believe all we're gonna have to have is a screwdriver a Phillips head screwdriver to be exact because we are going to fix our door handle on the camper it's been really stiff it's hard to get it to close you got to slam it I did realize on our last trip that it's because I was missing a couple of screws I replaced those and they were really too big and it was rubbing and I've been thinking about getting this puppy right here anyway, so we just decided to go with it. So this is the RV lock um, compact right side of door handle. This is a little bit more expensive than I wanted to spend, but we have the combination locks on our house. We really like that option. And so that's why I wanted to do this. It does come with a key fab. In my opinion, I don't think we're gonna use that that much because it's just something extra to carry around and what we're going for is the actual combination so let's uh unbox this thing and see what it's all about at first glance i was a little bit afraid because this appears to be wider than the the door lock that's on there however on the back you can tell that it's going to be the same size to fit in the hole so that's going to be good you take the packaging apart here And you, know, you have your outside module uh, and the module that goes inside and the keys are zip locked to the back looks pretty straightforward we'll take a quick peek at the directions I've seen a couple of videos on people installing these and uh, but it's been a while so I'll just refresh my memory there I have replaced a manual one before it was really easy you just take it, the screws off from the inside put the new one in boom you're done so let's take a look at this and see how complicated it's going to be for us not how complicated it should be so obviously the direction said take the old door latch off first so that's what we're going to do here just gonna go over to the camper and access the door of course you gotta get the screen door away of course you're going to take these four screws out and these two screws out now one of these is one of the ones that I replaced that was scraping, so I did take it back out. And, but when I had it in there, it was scraping on the door, and it shut good, but it just, it was, it wasn't right. When I had, but it, as far as the door latching, it latched great. Took it back out, and of course it got all sloppy again. Instead of uh, trying to fix that, because I put a screw in there that was too big, because it's all I had, and messed the threads up so that's why we're changing out the door handle now even if you are going to change out the door handle you don't have to go to this fancy doorknob you can get one i replaced the one in my other camper for probably 20 30 bucks for just the a replacement that didn't have anything fancy just the keys it's cool lately That's all there is to it. All right, so we got the new lock here, ready to put it on. When you're putting this on, you just gotta be sure that this wire goes through the door. Then you connect the wires together. Seems pretty simple so far. Makes a beeping sound. The instructions said it's supposed to do that. When you put this together and line it up, there's only a couple of things that you gotta figure out. You gotta have this cord here where it's not going to bind on anything you got to have the lock lever which is back here standard lock lever that's got to go on to here and this from the handle has got to go into there we were having a hard time getting it to line up uh, correctly mainly because it's freezing out here and my dexterity is not the best so we're going to go ahead and screw it on the end here get that taken care of that way it holds it in place and we can 
uh, maneuver it around a little bit more. So when you put this on here, like I say, you have to have this lined up. There's one flat side. So when this is dev bolts in, it's going to be pointed straight out. Okay. And then you got to make sure that this is all the way back flat whenever you set it down so that it catches in there. Now we just got to put the screws in and try to make sure that it's level. If you're not filming this and you got it flat against the camper, it'll be easier because you don't got to hold it. The door. We're just putting the screws in kind of loose and then we're going to make sure it's as straight as we can get it before we tighten them down. Now is this thing going to be as secure as Fort Knox? No, but it'll be as secure as the original one was. I mean, after all, you're putting a door lock on a foam door. So then you want to test it. So I'm going to pull the handle and it goes in. You want to test the lock and make sure that the deadbolt comes out. There it is. Okay. And then we're going to test the door shutting. Make sure that it shuts rather smoothly. It shuts a lot smoother than the last one, but when it shuts, this has some play in it, which is okay. And then for good measure, we'll test our keys. So the dead bolts coming out on the bottom one like it's supposed to and then on the top it does keep that from opening up move it sideways looks good to me so now we gotta just figure out how we program this thing okay so now the directions say to tap in the numeric keypad and hit the lock button to make sure that it's working and now let's give it a try it says the default codes one two three four one, two, three, four, lock. Nothing. The on off button's just for the key fob, apparently. So why is this not? It gave the confirmation beep initially, so I don't know why that's doing this. That gave it away because it did beep when I pushed the button and then it got really silent like the battery's done. Energizer, that surprises me. All right. It's got a battery. Okay guys, so we about got this project wrapped up. My biggest issue that I had here, because you know I gotta have those curveballs, was actually all about batteries. The batteries that were in the door lock, they were about dead. They were enough to do that initial beep, then gone. And after that, my battery died on my camera. So 
As irritating as that is, I had to go charge my phone and my camera here and we had to start all over. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is a great product. I recommend it highly so far and we'll give you some updates as far as the the endurance and how well it lasts. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.